Shown here is a new coolant expansion tank with a cap for the Carrera. It has been suggested the newer tanks have been reworked to prevent the seam from failing. Use a turkey baster or fluid pump and siphon the coolant out of the old tank. You don't have to get it perfectly dry, but just enough to where the level is at the bottom of the tank. When you lift the tank up and out of the engine compartment, the remaining coolant will drain back down through the lower hose. Next, remove the hose going to the emissions pump at the left of the engine compartment, on the 996 only. Use a pair of channel locks to loosen and slide the hose clamp back, as indicated by the purple arrow. Twist the hose back and forth to free it up from the pump. Then remove the two 10mm bolts at the front edge of the pump, green arrows, and the 10mm nut at the top of the air pump, yellow arrow. This nut also secures the front of the coolant tank to the car. Once free, unplug the electrical connector going to the pump. Loosen and remove the hose clamps on the lower hose connection to the coolant tank as indicated by the green arrow. Loosen and remove the hose clamps on the upper hose connection, green arrows. You may want to carefully take a small screwdriver or pick and work it between the hose and the coolant tank. Coolant hoses sometimes stick to these connections and have to be worked loose. Just carefully work all the way around and pull it off. On the left side of the engine, for the 997s only, unclip the brake booster pipe on the cross member and lay them off to the side, blue arrows. Remove the plastic lines and the cable plug from the switch over valve between the intake runners, yellow arrow. Loosen the lines for the brake booster, purple arrow. To do this, remove the plastic protection, push the holder forward, and pull back off the line. Put the plastic protector back on right away to keep any dirt or debris out, then disconnect the vent line for the coolant tank, red arrows. Check for slack in your wiring going to the O2 sensors on both sides. If it looks like it will be tight, disconnect the wiring, green arrow. The engine will need to be lowered slightly to allow the coolant tank to be removed from the engine bay. Place a floor jack with a rubber pad or a few rolled up newspapers under the oil pan. This will protect the aluminum from damage. Remove the 18mm engine mount nut on the right side of the engine, green arrow. Remove the 18mm engine mount nut on the left side of the engine, green arrow. With the engine lowered, pull the coolant tank towards the engine in the direction of the green arrow. This will disengage the tank from the mounting bracket in the engine compartment. Don't forget to remove the electrical connection to the coolant level sender at the bottom of the coolant tank. Once free, pull the old coolant tank out of the engine bay. Once the coolant tank is removed, you will probably see something similar to this. Left behind is a mess of baked coolant on the bulkhead behind the coolant tank. It's a good idea to spend some time and clean everything up before continuing. Fit the coolant level sender to the new tank and reconnect the electrical connection. Position the new tank in the engine bay. It can be a little tricky to get the teeth of the new tank, green arrow, to line up with the bracket, yellow arrow, on the car. Once the tank is in position, push it back as far back as it will go, making sure the front edge of the tank fits over the mounting stud. At this point, refit the coolant hoses to the new tank if any of the hoses look suspect, replace them before continuing. Also, be sure to connect the electrical connection to the air pump. Reinstall the two 10mm bolts and the 10mm nut that also secures the coolant tank to the bulkhead. The last step is to refill the coolant tank in between the min and max marks. If you have completely drained the system, you'll also need to follow the factory procedure for bleeding air from your system. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.